I give, devise, and bequeath the Rishanti Mansion, addressed at 15 Usman Gidado Crescent, my Tama, my houses in Wuse and Asokoro, and the sum of 100 million naira to my daughter, Matilda Rishanti Zamani, to my grandchildren, Bobai Zamani, and Dosha Zamani, 30 million naira each, which shall be kept in a trust fund until their 30th birthdays. To my niece and nephew listed in this document, I bequeath the sum of 20 million naira as well as a car each. I also gift 30 million naira to Widows Advocacy Group and 20 million naira to the Giving Hope Foundation. I gift to the ever loyal Asabe Jato 5 million naira, including the marked jewelry and fabrics. Lastly, to my dear T Maestro. Alita, I gift her my Chinese gilt tea set. Interesting. In respect to my 40% stake in Lufu group of companies, I give, devise, and bequeath as thus. 20% to my daughter, Matilda Rishanti Zamani, 10% to my grandson, Bobai Zamani, and 10% to my granddaughter, Dosha Zamani. Well, well, well. It's a full house. Addy, why are you here? This is an injunction challenging the last testament and will of Wani Rishanti. With unity, Nobody can break us. So I assure you that as a team, we can move further than an individual can. Zuaga Nesaramu. Zuaga Nesaramu. Thank you, darling. Indeed, you have spoken well. As we are gathered together here, I think that it would be nice to attend to a pressing issue concerning our village. As you know, the passing of the Agomo has created a vacancy in this community. It is very important that we have a new Agomo as soon as possible. the elders have had several discussions in light of this and have agreed that there is someone who have demonstrated integrity and a love for the people of this village and thereby he will make a great I would like some fish pepper soup with emphasis on the pepper. Ma, make it spicy, hot. Halita, could you come see me later in the day? I have some work for you to do. Yes, ma. 
And oh, Halita, Mamuani left you her tea set. I knew it. Ah, my spirit told me that you are going to get yeah. something. Ah, Halita, Mamuani remembered you in a way. Hey, <laughs> cup, common cup, and we cannot hear what they give. What did you get, Ladi? Mm -hmm. Was any crop we left for you? Besides, I am certain that the tea set must have cost a fortune. Congratulations, Alita. See, to be mentioned in the last will and testament of our late matriarch is a fit worthy of salutation. I salute you, Madam Halita. Indeed, it is not easy to inherit a cup. Big. Congrats, Alita. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> if Mama Wani can remember all the tea Alita sat her, how much more all the good times I have driven her. <laughs> <laughs> you are laughing. Mm -hmm. You won't laugh when Mr. King walks in here and announces that Mama Wani left the car for me. <laughs> for all my years of meritorious service. Let me go and wait for the wrong woman she left for me. <laughs> Someone's been getting the royal treatment. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Uncle Bobby. In between school and working with Auntie Dosha, I barely have any spare time. <laughs> it can't be school or work. That's the reason for the twinkle in your eyes. But I must say, though, happiness looks good on you. So how's school? There's just so much to learn. It can be overwhelming, but I'll cope eventually. Okay. For the first time in a long time, my life is moving in the direction I want it to. Uncle Bobby, how are you? And how is the therapy going? I... Forget about me. I'm happy things are finally coming together for you. Good things happen to good people. Uncle Bobby, good and bad things happen to everyone. We celebrate when the good things happen. And when it is bad, we learn to overcome it and position ourselves where good things happen to us once again. You can't just accept that life has you in a wheelchair because you think you deserve it. Life is not vindictive. Time and chance determines a lot of things. You can overcome it. Please, listen to me. You must give this therapy a chance. We must not let the bad swallow us up. Warning card. Check. I won. Okay. So what is this thing you want me to do? 
promise me you'll give this therapy a chance. Please. Okay. I promise. But you didn't have to cheat to win. I did not. Of you did. I didn't. No problem. Uh, yes, sir. We'll talk about it tomorrow. All right. Good night, sir. Hey, I wasn't expecting you. How are you? Morning. What's wrong? Nothing to worry your pretty head about. You look as beautiful as always. <laughs> What's wrong? I missed you. What with her... her mother's death? And Bobby's accident, there's been a lot going on. You know, I just wanted to get away from it all today and and drown myself in your fragrance. Which one should I wear? The black one is more practical and goes with everything. Red shoes always pecks up my day and makes me feel as though I'm not losing my personality in the drudgery of corporate life. The red ones, Auntie Dosha, I think they are pretty. Good choice. You know, red is the color of love. It's also the color of passion, longing, courage, action and determination. Red is also the color of danger. Red is my color. You see how far my passion has pushed Dosh Facial Scrub? Everyone loves it. Soon I'll be the leading brand of skincare in this country. It will be in every store and mall in every state. Why limit myself? My product is going to be the go-to product for black women everywhere. Halita, hard work pays. And when the results start to roll in, that's when you know it's worth it. I did this. I turned my tiny dream into the budding rose it is today. I poured my heart into that formula. Now look at it. One day, Auntie Dosha, maybe my tea products will be on shelves all over the world. That is my big dream. It will be right there beside packets of the most popular tea brands in the world. I'm hungry. Let me make something for us to eat right away. Can I come in? You're in already. I figured you were expecting me and kindly left the door open for me. <laughs> I'm quite excited about today's session. I'm very optimistic about your prognosis. There are so many things we can do to set you on a great path of recovery. Although we didn't go very far during our attempts at some objective assessments, but we could do that conclusively today. Are you always this chirpy? No one can be this happy all the time. Happiness is a choice. I choose it every day I wake. So, are you ready for today's session? Yes, I am. Great. Okay.
Sir, these are the documents you asked for. Everything from the MD's office. Is everything set for the arrival of the new FAO man? Uh, um, what's his name? Chris Okole. I hope everyone has been briefed and prepared. Yes, everything is set. All that is left is for him to show up. Okay. Everything is set, sir, but I'll go check with all the departments. Okay. Come in. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. Good day. Thank you, King. You look good too. Yeah, only for you, my love. I'm glad you approve. I've missed you. But we saw each other this morning. <laughs> that was a long time ago. This is Madam's brother, um, Mr. Aji. It's a harbinger of bad news. How about Mikoku? Why would you say something like that? Look, I will also go ahead to say that he is a forerunner of disaster. <laughs> if all the food in this house could talk, they would say the same thing about you. <laughs> Remember the first day he showed up? What happened? When I fainted that day, I was so scared. Alita had an accident. Maybe even at the same time he arrived here. Now he showed up on the day of the will reading. And then what happened? Uh, but what has he got to do with the accident? He came and nullified the will left by Mama Wani. That man carries bad luck. Don't say I did not tell you. It is your family that will finish you, I tell you. <laughs> I wonder how Madame feels fighting him over her mother's inheritance. So that's how the will was cancelled. So some people will not get their cup and spoon after all their prouding. Uh, but if you go, I still don't think you have proven that Mr. Adi is true. Of course, you will not see it now. Mm. Because it dashes you small money, you are blind. Mm. Take some wine up to Madame. So, um, it took me a little time to put this all together with all that's been happening, but I think it's ready to be presented to my father. So what do you think? I don't even know what to think. My dream has always been in my heart and in spoken words. But to see it written out in detail like this, it makes it look closer to a reality than I ever thought. How can I ever thank you? I couldn't have done this. I'm not even sure I understand all of it. There wouldn't be a proposal if you didn't have a great product. I'm just so glad to be able to be a part of pushing this forward. What if no one likes the tea? What if he doesn't approve of the plan? What if... <laughs> What's this? Everyone loves your tea. Even Marwani, who's always so picky, she loved it. Your tea is fantastic. And I'll do everything I can to bring this plan to fruition, okay? Okay, okay. It'll be fine. 
I didn't have anything. Okay. The last time we met was under unpleasant circumstances. I've given things a great deal of thought since then. Adi, you are Irishanti and my only surviving sibling. And I do not understand this undercurrent of hostility that has been reverberating. I hold no ill feelings towards you. And I'm eager to see this unnecessary hostility over and done with. It's nothing personal, Matilda. I just want to be a part of our father's company. As it should be. Look, I respect your right to contest the will. And while our lawyers work out something tenable, I would like to demonstrate that there is no ill feeling on our part concerning this whole issue. Lufu Group has grown tremendously over the years, and it has a fully functional structure that continues to run despite the unresolved will issue. So as chairwoman of Lufu Group of Companies, I would like to offer you an executive monitoring position in the interim. This will afford you the opportunity to learn the inner workings of the company, pending a resolution on the ownership of the company. An unexpected olive branch. It'll be my pleasure to accept your offer. Thank you, Matilda. And Kaza. And I look forward to a, an amicable mediation concerning this will issue. I think you'll have a glass of wine now. This is dangerous. Why did you have to call me out here? Anybody can see us. Kaka, this is an emergency. I have all of Matilda's plans for the week. She will be speaking to market women and will say, out in the open. Mm -hmm. Out in the open, Kaka. It will be so easy to take her out. We have to act fast. What are we waiting for? Max, calm down. We have waited for so long. Why don't you wait on just this little bit? Hmm? Adi has other plans, and I think we should stick with it. Remember, you are the one that ruined our other plan with the accident. And one little slip will make us fail in all our plans. So, please, calm down. Kaka, mm -hmm. you really don't want to go ahead with a plan, do you? Is this why you're passing on the perfect opportunity to get rid of Matilda? Huh? You think I don't notice you hovering around her as though she was your baby sister? Look, I don't give a damn about Addis glance. I don't. Look. I don't have nothing to prove to you. And you don't speak to me in that tone. And I will not have you speak to me in that tone either. You're not the boss of me. I called you out here to tell you of my plans out of gutsy. So if you're not comfortable with it, so be it. You can't stop me. The Zamanis are all going down. And it has to be my way and my way alone. Next on Halita. Good day, gentlemen. What is the meaning of this? Sir, Mr. Hassan is... Thanks a second. I'll take it from here. 